So today I'm going to delve deeper into the surfaces. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, basically how to create three different types of surfaces. Uh, one will be a flat surface, which we'll look at in a moment. The second will be a surface from points, um, which would be for uneven, unlevel surfaces. And the third one will be a foundation outline. So a surface for a foundation outline. Um, this is a typical site drawing that you might get um, in the plan view. <clears throat> As you will see on the top of the screen, we have height left and height right, and both of those are outside design. Just below outside design, you can see 12.17, and that is the height that our bucket is sitting at at the moment. Because as with machine control, everything is relevant from the tooth or the tip of the bucket. So I'm just going to move in along here to one of the houses. As you can see with our line work, we have the green here is our storm line. We have a water main there that's uh, illuminated in yellow. You can see when I move away from it, it selects the next line. So we have air valves, sluice valves, etc. We can see our curb lines or our driveway here along the side. And it takes us into our outline of our house. So um, here we are with our machine control. We have our line work. Uh, we don't have a design height. So what we're saying here is that our finished floor level, as you can see in the floor of the house, FFL is 11.75, which is meters uh, above sea level. So we need, to, we need to create a surface or a level that we can work to. Um, we don't have a benchmark. There's no engineer around to give us a benchmark. We can ring him and say, What's our formation level? What do we need to be down from floor level to the top of our foundations? He might say three courses, which would be 625 mil. It'd be three courses of block work. So we do a very simple calculation. Um, where we would, so we would put in our existing finished floor level, which in this case is 11.75 and we would minus 0 0.625 which would allow for our three courses of block work and that would give us an elevation then of 11.125 so now we have our design height or level so what we do is on the right hand side of the screen the very top symbol there, it's a jobs menu. So you have three dots and three lines. You tap on that. It'll bring you into your, your jobs menu. So you can work without GPS, which would be a 2D system. You can select a drawing or a surface design file. Or the next step down, we can create a surface. So we're going to, we want to create a surface at a, a design height. So we say create surface, we click on next. And select a flat surface which is the top it's illuminated in blue click on next the elevation at the moment is where our bucket of our machine is it's at 12.63 so we want to say i need to be at 11 point one two five done oh no is it yeah, 11.125, done, click on next. So job type is flat surface, elevation is 11.13, which is five millimeters above what we want, which is acceptable and more than acceptable for groundworks. So we can click on done. And obviously it's after moving back. This is a demonstrator tablet, so it will move back to the corner of the tablet. So what I'm going to do here now, 
you can see here that the height we now have a design height so we are 900 and well 830 millimeters high here at the minute and if i change my view to the split screen which is a three screen view it shows the level that i need to be working to and once i'm on that level there i am on level i'm going to be at my formation level i can do my bulk excavation from my site I can say there's my curb line, so I know that I'm going to need to go at least a meter outside this for my bulk excavation. I can excavate the site to level, giving myself enough of room all around. And once that's done, it's very simple to offset, to dig your line work, we can offset our 300 or whatever the case may be. So that's surface number one. Now, I have, I'm just going to go back to the plan view because I have uh, already generated um, some points out here and I'm just going to take the machine as far as them and we can see them come into the picture here. So if I zoom in here, there are my point surveys that I have taken. So, with the bullseye feature, we line up over our point and we can go down to the given level that we have. We'll just, I'm just going to go to zero here because what I want to show here is creating, we're going to create a surface from points. So I have these points already surveyed in at specific levels. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select the jobs menu once again, the create surface and click on next. We're going to do a surface from points this time and click on next. So I can then in this screen, I'm going to leave it on auto. I can select my first point, my second point, third point, it triangulates automatically. Select another four point and it again automatically triangulates and point five and point six. So once those points are, once you, those points that you need to use are selected, you'll see the area turns gray. And once you're happy that you're after selecting all your points, you just click on next. It'll tell you it's a surface from points one. You can call that, uh, you know, you can say, we'll just call it a batter. Um, batter one, we're just going to call that. And done. So you can change the name to whatever you want. Your file format for surfaces uh, with Unicontrol 3D is XML. Uh, land xml file which is pretty much uh, world standard um we click on done and here we have our shape so i know that i need to go down i'm just going to change my view here again to the three three section view because it's just really to show you the shape so i can see here that i'm on level so i, I surveyed the first four points in at a level you can see it's pretty much uniform and the last two points i spaced them out and i put them in at five meters above so you can see it creates it creates a grade so it's very very handy for doing simple batters if you're working on a building site and there is no final design you can actually create your own which is something the lovely feature of unicontrol and it's just so easy to do. And you can see there again your shape. Uh, if I bring. I'm just going to move in here. 
it's not as easy as it looks doing it with a game pad because you've, you've nothing to actually work for but you get my idea so that's a surface from points which is a super super handy feature of unicontrol now the next thing i want to do is and the next type of surface we're going to create is going to be a surface foundation outline basically so i'm going to go back to my house my little house in here where we had our initial surface made and we want to create a surface here just once again from uh, for the foundation outline so we click on our jobs menu create surface click on next we want to do foundation outline click on next and what we have to do here so the work area here is one meter offset outside your extremities so outside your line work does it's one meter you know um with this i'm i'm not going to go into big detail because it does create um it, it would be a lot of work to just create an outline at a specific elevation um so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select my corners that i need by easily easily achieved you basically you zoom in on your bucket and you get it pretty close to the corner so if you're doing a center line here so what you do is you say that's the right hand side of my bucket so i'm selecting bucket right bucket right again and you'll see that it will draw it will follow you around the site so there's my next bucket right again and you'll see that blue line will follow me around that blue line is going to follow the excavator right around when you're between your last two points you just click on close there it is it's after closing in your boundary it's giving you a one meter offset you click on next it's an xml file foundation done and there is your here is your line work and basically what that is showing you there if we go back to our three section view when I get down within within level when I slew out here you'll see it, it creates a batter so that was my slope that's my line work I can go along dig my footings at the given level if you want to go that way but it, it's an option so there are three types of surfaces I hope you enjoyed the video keep an eye out for more content from us at high techniques and how to videos on using your Unicontrol system. We are offering a free trial at the moment. Um, and if you would like to if you would like to have a trial, uh, we're doing a trial for a month. We come out, fit the system, train your operator, train your engineer on all the wonders of 
Unicontrol3D. Enjoy. Tune in again. Thank you.